Ice cream is one of my favorite food groups. Morgan's Dairy Bar and Cafe in Stanley, North Carolina offers a 25-scoop cow pile sundae that's free if you can finish it in 30 minutes. With no fanfare, no BS, and no Stalin, it's time to get cream. On go! Yeah! yeah. Three, two, one, go! Welcome back to Freak Eating. Last summer, I visited North Carolina and was fortunate enough to find this ice cream shop with a massive Sunday challenge. Ice cream is great because it's incredibly delicious, gives you a good boost of energy, and looks great in pictures. I won't look great in pictures if I eat too much ice cream, but that's a story for a different day. This Sunday is called the cow pile, which sounds gnarly until you realize that 25 scoops of anything would be huge. You are allowed to pick eight flavors from the dairy case, and it gets topped with whipped cream, nuts, cherries, chocolate sauce, and a few other sweet sauces. It's smart that you're limited to eight flavors, because if you pick too many flavors, everything would melt together and it would taste like a bunch of nasty nothing. From what I recall, I selected coffee, peach, grape, raspberry, strawberry cheesecake, chocolate, coconut, and vanilla. My goal was to avoid anything with chunks or fillings to make swallowing easier. Insert horrible joke here. Just for the record, Randy Santel was the first person to complete this food challenge so I knew I'd be in solid company if I completed this challenge. Ice cream is one of my favorite foods, alongside sushi and pizza, so I was happy with picking this as my first restaurant food challenge in the state of North Carolina. The downside of giant ice cream sundaes is they make my mouth hurt afterwards from all the cold. Do you want to do that too? <laughs> What's that? It's a cow pile. He's uh, trying to do it in 30 minutes. Nah, I'm going to do it too. <laughs> it looks good, but I don't think That's so. a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to sick. <laughs> it looks yummy. Alright, probably looks good. Alright, let's see I suppose having a cold mouth is a small price to pay for the glory of victory. On the bright side, it's a great excuse to drink a hot beverage and think warm thoughts to make yourself feel right again. The servers told me that Randy Santel actually licked the plate clean when he did it, but they laughed about it and said I didn't need to do that too. Ice cream is an interesting food in challenges because when you start out, it always looks like a lot but as you chip away and it melts, you see it was actually very manageable. So, do you have a favorite ice cream flavor? And would you attempt this cow pile challenge? Let me know in the comments below. I'll level with you here. I was absolutely enjoying all the different flavors in this ice cream platter. The cheesecake flavor was probably my favorite, but I was impressed with the grape ice cream flavor. I can say this was the first time I saw grape ice cream as an option and I knew it was a must try. It reminded me of grape candy flavor. It was easily my second favorite flavor in the cow pile. There isn't much more to say, so I'll let the video do the talking for now. Boom goes the dynamite. With 15 minutes to spare, I cleared the cow pile and got my first win in North Carolina. Until we do it again, stay in school, don't do drugs and eat like a freak. Awesome. <laughs> That's real. I'm really cold now. You have to lick the plate. I'm just kidding. I'm just. I'm 